Can we contain happiness in a bottle? Stop it from drip, drip, dripping away with the recklessness of days? The wish I dreamt up this January 1st, the New Year's chant. Blankets were full, the circle complete, and we shared the latitude. Can we conserve the sky? Have a jar labeled the sun in the city by the water, and another December 28th, that view on the road to your ancestral land, gentle afternoon and parents and grandmother spirit, or where a bellfish rings and you believe, a little time-space jar to dip into when the hour needs a better color, a shade of good and a splash of grip, as in when you grip my hand and heart warms up, heart throbs and swells, a mountain is born, at the top I am safe, I am big, this beauty rises, this beauty, is it of the earth, the earth only, or do they sing someplace else, their echo in the wind? The bellfish, waking up. That's why the travelers have radiant eyes, even in unsmiling season, the sun in their eyes. Do they know the secret? A believer in the sound of quiet I have grown. Some days should be lived more than once, how do they not protest, aware as they must be of their charm, a little vain and playful as they must be? Leave me, I'm perfect, as they must hum, hum, hum away, seducing you before you know, enveloped unawares in their sweet smelling haze. You might struggle for a while. This belief, be rational. Well, we must be practical. It's time to move on. We have to see that other city too, cannot linger for too long. You might attempt a few sighs and fail predictably with the oh it's so beautifuls to define and frame in your human language what is not of you, not of the same cloth. I'm of the beyond that surpasses you. You're dumb and would stay here forever. A headache almost crawls in as you strain yourself to see, see more, gather more, fathom it all, whilst they, the days, giggle softly. Giggle even as you click, click, click away to try that other magic we so cleverly invented to bottle up their flow. Why it's so perfect, this time-space jar, a rectangular replica of that last, most recent sun grain that just slid down the hourglass neck, and you caught it, stored it, the victory. Even the days don't live twice. How can they be so calm? Can we square happiness with pain? There must be some equation to account for the randomness of the universe. Scientists, prop up your ears lest you miss the melody. Sharpen your eyes lest you overlook the solution. It's so easy to be baffled and lost in this cacophony of variables. Can we even ask the question? Alice for love? Is it free love, the answer, or the question? G is for good, D stands for death, S is selfish, or was it sunny days? T is tears, H is hunger, K is kill. But then, what is humble and kind and thoughtful? I know, you, she, and a handful of other model humans that flutter around to light the way and show us what we could be. We are a shallow species, it seems, if luck, L, is the animating principle of our world, short-sighted, cruel, unimaginative at best, sifting new grains through old sieves, perpetually recreating old divisions, the same constellations. I wonder if there is ever escape or improvement. I wonder what the appropriate emotion is for the quantity of L in my equation, the immeasurable goodness, the number of human fireflies whose ennobling touch has reached me, enlarged me, big out of all proportion, it seems, starkly unfair by comparison. Existence is a grim prospect, must be, when you take all else into account. Yet sadness seems a sacrilegious, frivolous response. It must be joy, humble and quiet, full of awe, lucid, grateful, a mute resolve to meet the next day, Make every effort, go, live, live, give away, honor the fireflies, 
and smuggle stiltily a private little yearning to supply the needed poetry, the weakness or strength of the species, as you like it. Yearning for the softness of this particularly wonderful individual, your perfect match. We can be different, we can be better, we can transcend. I don't know about Wordsworth, though by the name he should be trustworthy, if emotion recollected in tranquility births a poem, or emotion recollected births tranquility. With the second feeling, I attempt the first, by dint of a cheap trick to start as you have finished, or was it the other way around? The New Year wish. Can we contain happiness in a bottle? Stop it from drip, drip, dripping away with the recklessness of days? Save it for winter? <laughs>